guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do the get to know me tag because it's something that I've seen a lot of YouTubers do. And since there's like a lot of new people just like subscribe to my channel and stuff, I don't think I've ever done like a video where I sit down and answer just like random questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through some of the questions that I found on the tag and answer them for you guys. So the first one says, what is your middle name? My middle name is Christina. So right now um, I'm married. So my name is Kayla Christina Buell. But before I was married, my maiden name was Cruz. So I was born Kayla Christina Cruz. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is like blush. So anything that's like pinkish kind of blush, that is my favorite color. How tall are you? I am 5'3". I'm kind of short, but I've been like that my whole life. Cats or dogs? You know, it's funny because I grew up a total dog person. I hated cats. Like, cats I thought were like disgusting. I don't know, I was just like raised to not like cats, I guess. But like seven or eight years ago, I found my cat Graham, who I'm obsessed with. So now, I would definitely consider myself more of a cat person. I think that cats are just a little bit more like, they're less maintenance. Like, you don't have to take them out every couple of hours. They just kind of do their own thing. And my cat, at least, is just as cuddly and loving as any dog. He's like super needy. So I think I'm more of a cat person. Funniest moment throughout school. You know, there's one occasion that I recall because it was just like so embarrassing. I um, I was a junior or senior in high school and I went to a Catholic school. I went to a Catholic high school. And at the time I had to wear, we wore like those typical cliche, like little like, I don't know, plaid Catholic school girl skirts. And I remember I was sitting in my desk and you know how those desks are like L-shaped? And so I dropped my pencil and I reached over to pick it up, like over like the L part. Um, so I reached over to pick up my pencil and the entire desk freaking flipped on top of me. And so I was stuck on, like with my desk on top of me, like my skirt was like over my head, like everyone could see my underwear. And on top of the fact that I was super embarrassed because everybody was seeing my underwear, it was even more embarrassing because the person who was teaching the class, my teacher, was like a brother. He was like in the seminary. He was like this holy person. So there I was, showing my underpants to this holy guy. So yeah, that was really embarrassing. How many countries have you visited? I'm not gonna count, but I really haven't gone to a lot of places. Um, like we, as a kid, like I used to go on a lot of cruises. So like I've been to the Bahamas, I've been, um, I went to St. Lucia for our honeymoon, but I haven't been to Europe yet. That's definitely on my bucket list one day when I'm rich and have a lot of money, maybe I can go to Europe, but I haven't gone there quite yet. Are you in or have you gone to college? So yes, I went to college. I actually stayed in state. Like I lived in my house while I went to college. I just commuted back and forth. I went to Florida International University. It was a public university. It still is a public university. Um, great school. I had my tuition totally paid for. I had like 100% bright futures. I had Florida prepaid. And I also got like a 100% scholarship through the school just because of my grades and SAT scores. So it just made sense for me to go to that college because I actually got a check every semester. So I like got paid to go to school. Um, my bachelor's degree was in healthcare administration. And then after I did my bachelor's, I started working at a hospital and they had like a, um, a program where if you continue to work for them for two years after you did your master's, they paid for your master's 100%. So what I did was I worked full time and went to school and I got my master's in public administration with a graduate certificate in human resources management. So I now have my bachelor's and my master's and I'm a stay at home mom. <laughs> what is your favorite drink? Growing up, my favorite drink was Sprite, but now as an adult, my go-to drink is ginger ale. I love ginger ale, I crave ginger ale. And I'm just answering that question that way because it didn't say like, what's your favorite type of alcohol? <laughs> because if my favorite drink also incorporated like alcohol, then I would go with margaritas. Margaritas are my all time favorite thing. Um, I like anything that's like really sour. Um, I do like wine, but like wine, I have to just like kind of, not that I have to be in the mood for it, but it's just more like relaxing. I don't like the taste as much as a margarita. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is gonna be like either some kind of cat or lion. Um, I'm a Leo, so I was born in August, so I'm a Leo. So anything having to do with lions, I love. I love like a white Bengal tiger. I think those are beautiful animals. So anything in like that cat 
family. I like. What is your favorite perfume? My favorite perfume for years has been the JLo Glow perfume. I don't know how old school that is. I don't know if anyone wears that anymore, but it is my go-to perfume. Like I love it. I remember I would ask for it for Christmas like every year and either my parents would get it for me or my grandparents would get it for me, but I loved it. I've gone through so many bottles. Tea or coffee? Definitely coffee, but coffee is a lot more fattening. Over the past couple years though, I've started drinking more teas. Like I like green tea and now as a mom, I actually actually started drinking more teas because there's a lot of teas that help with like breastfeeding and like your milk production so I've been having more teas because of that but just based on the taste alone I am a coffee girl 100% what would you or have you named your children so for those of you who don't know I am a first-time mom to a beautiful baby girl her name is Riley Grace and today as I'm filming this video she just turned four months old what sports do you play or have you played so cheerleading is considered a sport so in high school I did cheerlead for two years I was a dancer like growing up um, when I was a little younger I danced I did jazz I did hip-hop I did ballet and then when I went to middle school I started cheerleading and I was a cheerleader in high school my freshman and sophomore year and then I kind of hated being told that I had to go to practice on certain days and certain times and I couldn't deal with the drama anymore so then I quit what is your favorite book so dear god there's so many books that I love I think if I had to pick one it would be the great Gatsby for some reason that book always stuck with me I loved it I love the movie with Leo in it. It's just like one of like my favorite all-time book. And then Shameless Plug, I did write a book myself. So that book is also on my favorites list. It's called Corporate Survival Guide for Your 20s. And it's just a book about, you know, navigating your first couple years in the workplace. So that also makes my top favorites list. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Okay, so yes, I make YouTube videos, but I spend a lot of time watching other YouTubers. Um, I watch Hailey Page. I love Aaron Williams, um, Tara Henderson. Those are probably like the, my three go-to um, YouTubers that I watch. I watch Brianna Kay a lot for like cleaning inspiration. And I don't know, I just like watching YouTubers that are kind of going through similar things. So like all of the YouTubers that I mentioned, you know, they're moms, some of them have a couple kids, some of them have just one kid. But it's just kind of nice to be able to like relate to other people that are going through similar things. So those are some of my favorites that I watch all the time. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie for years um, has been Serendipity. I love that movie for some reason, John Cusack. I, I don't know, it does it for me. Are you single or taken? I'm very much taken. I am married, I've been married for two years to my husband, Joe. We've been together for like a long time. We've been together for like six years and we dated for a couple years and then I moved in with him and then he proposed and then we got married and now we have a baby girl. So very much taken. Do you speak any different languages and how well? So my family is Cuban. So a lot of people sometimes ask me on, in the comments, they're like, where's your accent from? Again, I don't think I have an accent, but a lot of people think I have an accent. And it's probably because of the fact that my family is Cuban. So I understand Spanish. I can hold a pretty decent conversation with anyone who speaks Spanish. I understand it a lot better than I can speak it. So if you're talking crap about me in Spanish, I'm gonna know what you're saying, but I might not be able to say anything back to you. Do you have any siblings? So yes, I have siblings. I have two siblings. I'm the oldest child. Child. and then there's Brittany who is my sister who's 21 years not 21 years she's 21 months younger than me and then there's Ryan who is nine years younger than me so he's a senior in high school he's 18 he's about to graduate and then there's my sister and then there's me how would you describe your fashion sense comfy AF <laughs> I mean honestly at this point as a new mom I really just want to be comfortable because most of the time I have spit up on me or I have a child pulling my hair so I really don't go out much most of the time I'm home or just like running random errands so I like to be comfortable yes I do like to look cute sometimes I guess um, if there's one thing I'll say about my fashion sense is that a, it has to be practical because I'm still nursing, so I like to wear stuff that's like easy access to my boobs because sometimes I need to be able to feed Riley, you know, on the go. And then the other thing I'll say is that I kind of stick to the same color palette. So again, my favorite color is blush, so I like to wear a lot of blushes and pinks and whites and creams and grays. I don't really like to wear like bold colors. Maybe at some point in my life I did, but now I just kind of like to stick to like a similar like low-key color palette. I don't know if that makes sense. So what is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant, 
I mean, I live in Miami, so there's a lot of really great places to eat. One of my favorite places to go to is this place called Sugarcane. Um, Sugarcane, I haven't been to in years, but it's like all um, like tapas and like small dishes. So anytime that we would go there, like we'd just get a whole bunch of stuff and just like split it. So Sugarcane is good. There's also a place here in Miami called Finca. Finca is delicious. Again, it's also like a place where you can get tapas and like share things. Everything there is delicious. But I guess if I had to pick like a favorite like chain restaurant that you can find in a lot of places, probably be Olive Garden. I love me like a good chicken parm and that's definitely something that we order um, at least a couple times a month. We order it and then like we'll go pick it up and eat it at home and it's just like delicious. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Okay, so Joe and I, we watch Survivor. I know that's like been on forever but we actually just got into survivor a couple seasons ago and then now we're just like binge watching all of the other seasons it's a very interesting show like people are not very nice on that show so there's that i'm also watching lost in space now which is on netflix very good show i highly recommend it i'm also watching parenthood which i also really like i just find it very relatable like just like the family dynamics it's it's i think it had like five seasons so I've just been like binge watching all of them because it's no longer on like the five seasons we're in. And I watch like all the shows on ABC like Grey's Anatomy, Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder. Like those are my go-to shows. I've been watching them for years and I think tomorrow is like the last episode of Scandal ever so I'm really depressed. But yeah, those are just some of the ones that, that I'm watching right now. PC or Mac, definitely Mac. I don't think I could ever have another computer. I love my Mac. What phone do you have? I have the iPhone X. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Do I think I could have gotten the 8 or the one that was like less expensive? Definitely. I I am not the kind of person that needs to have like the latest and greatest piece of technology. I've had my Mac for years, um, but my husband likes to have like the latest version model of everything. So I'm hoping that doesn't mean that he's going to upgrade his wife anytime soon. Tell us one of your bad habits. So. Not so much anymore, like when I was growing up, I used to bite my nails like to the core. Like it was so bad. Like I remember being embarrassed to go to middle school because I was like, oh my God, everybody's gonna see like my ratchet nails and they're not gonna wanna be my friend. Like it was very traumatizing because like I would just bite them. I guess out of habit, out of anxiety, I don't know. Now as an adult, I don't really bite them but like I pick at them and like they need to be even all of the time. So I guess the habit of like picking at my nails, chipping my nail polish off, I guess that's a bad habit because then I end up painting my nails myself like four or five times a week. All right guys, so that's gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you like this like quick and fun like little get to know me video. Um, if there's any other questions that you want me to answer, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you guys. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So if you did like this video, I would appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.